Mr. Zuko. I take it this message is not in writing. Necessary. <laughs> that hurt, didn't it? Uh, yes, quite a bit. Sorry. Are there any prints off of the handgun? No. No serial number. Does this hurt? Yes. 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 How about this? No, that's an old scar. Hmm. How'd you get it? I'd rather not say. Someone struck me with a sea otter. Hmm. I guess that's what happens in a country with gun control. Oh, I believe he shot the otter first. Hmm. That's just cruel. Well, yes, but you see, strictly speaking, he did adhere to the law because a swinging a live otter is illegal in the territories. Huh. Indeed. So, there's nothing the police could do about it? No. Although they did uh, change the law after that uh, incident. Good thing. It's a very good thing. Any line on the shooter? I got Paducci going over to Mugshots right now, sir. What about the guys at Rough Fraser up? All imported talent. They're probably halfway to California by now. I'd dearly like to tie Zuko to this. What about protective custody for Paducci? State's attorney isn't going to do it. There's no indictment against Zuko. And if we lock the shoemaker up, we'll have to keep him in solitary confinement for the rest of his life. Leave him out on the street under surveillance, and we eat up the entire district's budget in 30 days. All Zuko has to do is wait. You know, I hate to say it, but uh, Mr. Paducci had the right idea. Look, we can't just throw him back out on the street. All right, I'll shuffle some paperwork. We'll keep him in holding for 48 hours. All right, thanks, Lieutenant. Anything? No. Protective custody? 48 hours in holding. What do you want to do? You guys know anybody with a place in the islands? Here, you want a cup of coffee? Uh, no, thanks, Ray. How about a cup of tea? No. Hot chocolate? No, I'm fine. Matrani. The kid that Zuko worked over with the basketball. 
two guys held him down while Zuko dribbled the ball over his face. I'm talking like this thing happened 20 years ago and I remember it like yesterday. So the kid hits the concrete, right? And he looks up at me with those eyes. Those eyes that say, help me. Call the cops. Do something. I just stood there while Zuko rearranged his face. I didn't try to stop it. I didn't say a word. When I got home that night, I felt like I was 80 years old. I should have done something, Benny. Come on, Frankie. What do you say, you and me, one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, is that so, Ray? Yeah, come on, you and me. You think you can take me out? Hey, I don't think, Frankie. I know. I'm gonna kick your ass. Go give me a cappuccino, Ray. Yeah, why don't you get yourselves a cappuccino, too, boys? We're gonna be a little while. We go back a long way, you and me, Frankie. And we got some unfinished business to attend to. You remember Marco Mitrani? Who? Junior high, you bounced the ball off his face until it was mush. Oh, yeah. Marco. I remember Marco. God. We had some good times, huh? Poor old Marco. You know, I heard his family moved away now. Yeah, you know, I heard that too. You know? Even then, you owned the neighborhood, Frankie. And even then, you were a coward. Me? I'm not the one who stood around and watched his friend get his face beaten in. <laughs> you know, you're right, Frankie. I just stood